In this video in a CSS tutorial series, we'll look at applying CSS styles to a web page using internal CSS. Also referred to as block style, internal CSS is included in a web page by using the HTML style element in the head element. Note, however, that the style element can be placed in the body as well. We'll see an example of that in a later video when we discuss the cascading and specificity aspects of CSS. Looking at this internal CSS page on W3Schools, we see an example of CSS being written inside the style element in the HTML documents head section. Now, let's jump into VS Code and apply some internal styles to the web page we created in the last video. In revisiting this document, we'll recall that we applied the CSS styles directly to the HTML elements using the inline style. In this video, we'll convert those inline styles to internal styles. And we'll start doing that by creating the HTML style element inside of the document's head section. So let's start with our H1 element. We need to set the color to blue and the text align property to center. So when we start writing CSS styles, we need to add a CSS selector. And the CSS selector is used to target the element or elements that we want to apply the style to. So in this case, we want to target the H1 element. So the selector for that will be the element itself, H1. Then we add opening and closing curly braces, which will contain the actual styles and their values. So the first style we want to apply to this H1 is to set its color to blue. So we start with the name of the style, which is color, add a colon, and then its value, which is blue, and then end the style with a semicolon. The next style we want to apply to this H1 is the text align property. We'll save this. Since we now have the style applied in the style block in the head, we could go down to our H1 element and delete the inline style. Save the code, right click the index.html file, select open with live server, and we see that the styles are still applied to the element using the new internal style. Going back to the page, let's remove the style from the H2 element and set that in the style block. So we have our H2 selector, and this gets a color of red. Save the page, go back to the browser, and we see the styles applied. Finally, we want to apply a color of yellow and a background color of navy to our two paragraph tags. So the HTML selector for this will be the P tag, the paragraph. We add a color of yellow and a background color of navy. Now, since the HTML selector is the P, it will look for all paragraph tags on the page and apply those styles directly to any paragraph tag it finds. So we can come down to our paragraph tags and delete the inline styles, save the page, go back to the browser, and we see our styles are still applied. So this is the benefit of using internal styles versus inline styles. I only have to write the style once in the style block, and it's applied to all elements that match that selector. If I want those paragraph tags to now have italic text, I could add font style italic, save the code, go back to the page, and now both paragraph tags have italic text. Now, let's take this example a bit further and add ID and class attributes to some of our HTML elements, then apply styles using the appropriate CSS selectors. I'll start by adding a third paragraph to the page, saving the code, and let's check it in the browser. And we see the third paragraph has the same styles as the other two paragraphs. And this is because we applied the styles using the HTML paragraph element CSS selector. Now, let's say that we want the italic text to still be applied to all the paragraphs, but we only want the color and background color styles to be applied to the first and second paragraphs. Well, we can add a CSS class attribute to the first two HTML paragraph elements then add the appropriate CSS class selector. So a class selector starts with a period, and then we add the name of the class. So this selector will target all elements on the page 
with a class of para. And we said that we want those elements to have the color and background color styles. But we didn't want the third paragraph to have those styles. So we've removed them from the paragraph selector and added them to the class para selector. So if we save the page and go back to the browser, we see that the styles are applied to the first and second paragraphs only. The third style just has the italic text. Finally, let's add an HTML ID attribute to the third paragraph. We'll give it a value of standout. Then we'll go back to our styles and add a CSS selector for the HTML element with the ID of standout. And the CSS selector for an ID starts with the pound sign, and then we add the name of the ID. So this selector will target the single HTML element on the page with an ID of standout. And here we'll set the style of the color to green. Save the page, go back to the browser, and we'll see that the color of the text in the third paragraph is green, but that style change has not impacted the other two paragraphs on the page because the third paragraph is the only HTML element that can have the ID attribute set to standout. So I hope in this example, you've seen the benefit of using the internal style CSS versus the inline style CSS. In the next video, we'll look at using external style sheets.